For more on the fallout from the surprise attack on Israel, James Jeffrey joining us now. He's a former ambassador to Iraq. And Mr. Ambassador, thank you for taking time. You just heard Jen Griffin talking about the complexity of, of this attack. What are your thoughts? Uh, first of all, besides many, many Israelis and uh, Palestinians who died today, two other things died. One is Israel's deterrence against the foes on its uh, a perimeter in the south and in the north. And secondly, the Biden administration's risky gamble to de-emphasize uh, the Middle East and particularly Iran and focus on China and Ukraine. We now have to help Israel get back and reestablish deterrence. Israel will have to, that's what Netanyahu means when he says I'm going to war, launch a major ground incursion into uh, Gaza to reestablish deterrence. General Keane was right that uh, the Israelis didn't do well in Lebanon in 2006, but what they did do was reestablish deterrence. Uh, Hamas uh, has to be defeated. Right now, they're enjoying a psychological and to some degree tactical victory, and Hezbollah has to be, one way or the other, by the Israelis or by us, deterred from entering this uh, fight. Are you concerned then, uh, as General Keane was, that uh, the expansion of what comes next involves Hezbollah? And what is your estimation about what that would do to our relations with our partners in the Middle East? Well, first of all, everybody in the Middle East is watching not just uh, Jerusalem. They know how Bibi Netanyahu will react, but they're watching Washington. That's what's so critical. Uh, everybody's referring to a surprise attack 50 years after the Yom Kippur War. Uh, at a critical point in the Yom Kippur War in 1973, Russia threatened to intervene. Uh, President Nixon and Henry Kissinger put the entire U.S. military, including at the time Captain James Jeffrey, on full just short of war alert. The administration has to be prepared to take similar very, very courageous and risky actions to keep Hezbollah and Iran out of this conflict because the Israelis are going to need time to deal with Gaza and Hamas, and that won't be easy. Mr. Ambassador, there's nothing that indicates that that is something this administration is interested in, in doing. Uh, we will have to see in the hours ahead. Again, if Hezbollah starts moving towards some kind of intervention, everybody will look to Washington and what it will do. And you're looking live now on the right side of your screen to the Gaza City missile strikes happening here. It appears, and, and thank you for your time, Mr. Ambassador, I just want to ask you one last question, and that is, if you had to predict and guess where we are headed, is this a, a days-long thing, a weeks-long thing? What does the future hold? This is a month-long thing that will require an Israeli ground incursion of tens of thousands of troops into Gaza and very heavy fighting, while the rest of the region will be on the knife's edge of an even greater escalation, which is, again, why Washington has to play a much more aggressive role in simply saying we'll support Israel with weapons deliveries. Ambassador James Jeffrey, thank you for your insight, sir, and giving us your, your take on all things. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.